What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to discuss the possibilities of what I believe combatant power is within Destiny 2. But before we go any further, if you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like is much much appreciated on my behalf. Okay, so during the IGN interview with Mark Nosworthy and Luke Smith, we saw some bits of gameplay unseen before. Many people, including myself, have been speculating on a few different things. Now, undoubtedly, the most questions I have had have been in regards to combatant power. What is it? Many people are wondering. If you missed this minute bit of info during the IGN video, I will show you guys what everyone's talking about. Now, when they showed the Nessus map, we saw that for doing a challenge, you are rewarded a rare piece of gear and 90 combatant power. We also see further into the video the inventory of a guardian and it shows combatant power where we normally see light level. Now in my opinion there's a really simple explanation for this and it is as follows. We know going into Destiny 2 our light has been taken away. The traveller has been shielded by the cabal equally now in us being lightless. Combatant power is merely our leveling system until we get our light back. Notice you receive combatant power from this challenge along with rare gear. Rare gear obviously is handed out to us in the early days of developing into a mature guardian. We know this already from Destiny 1. In my opinion combatant power is the leveling system we start with due to our light being taken away and we gain combatant power by doing these challenges as well as other things. Once I believe we get to a stage in the game where we obtain our light back it will simply switch from combatant power to light level and that in my opinion guys is what I believe this is. Obviously it would not make sense in us leveling up our light levels when our light is being taken away by the cabal and that's the end of that. Another thing I want to talk about is locked loadouts. Now details are scarce. We only know that locked loadouts will be a thing for certain activities within Destiny 2. What activities we don't know. Now the pros of locked loadouts are this. It will make you work as a team. People having to use certain class setups to pair with what their fellow Guardian fire teams are using. I love the idea of everyone in a fire team having a certain set role. That sounds great to me. I also think as well, now this may upset a few people, that locked loadouts may be introduced to a Trials type game mode we see within Destiny 2. Imagine that, not being able to change your class setup once you have started that card. That would be cruel. Imagine if they also made it as well that you could not inspect what your opponents are using. That would be crazy. Now I know there are certain websites which allow you to do this, but they could easily fix that. Lock loadouts as well could be a thing for rank play. I mean that makes more sense for me in terms of PvP locks loadouts. If everybody's got the same locks loadout and you cannot change it, in ranked play that is the most fair and balanced way of going about things. I truly think it is, but that's just my opinion. Now the problems I see Bungie having with this system is basically what stopping a fellow fire team member backing out and changing a class setup and then rejoining the fire team. Obviously that's if they plan to drop this locked loadout feature in any PvE activity. It's interesting to think about and in my opinion depending on where Bungie used this feature it may be difficult for them to tackle some of the easy ways around such things. People always find a way, they really do. But yes guys, if any more news drops on locks of loadouts, I will have you guys covered here on my channel. So if you're new around here and enjoy what you see, do hit that subscribe button. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about my idea on combatant power. And if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. Thanks as always for stopping by and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get around.